Orlando for work for a couple of days at the Four Seasons. I am just about to check out of my room, come along with me to Art of Animation and just kicking off my Disney World trip. I thought I would show my OOTD before we head over to Art of Animation. So I am wearing this little like Amazon romper, one of my Stony Clover fanny packs and just wearing some white hokas with it. My new magic band, this is a orange bird one. So kind of like Disney travel day two. actually, and I don't have a hair elastic, but that's totally fine. We are going over to the Disney Skyliner. We're gonna go to Riviera. My mom's never been, so we're just gonna kinda take it in, maybe see if they have any different resort mugs there, because we did get the Disney dining plan for the first time, so we're kind of excited to try that out and you know, see how much food we can eat on our trip. Look at how cute the theming is here. I've never actually seen cars. Is that a terrible thing? So this is it. This is it. Nothing screams a Disney trip like the Disney Skyliner. Thank you. First ride on the Disney Skyliner. I can't wait for it to do the little thing. What's this for? Isn't it great? Yeah, I expect it to be hot in here. It's no. good. It's hot if they don't open the... Yeah, it so, would be. So you can open them. Like sometimes, you know, somebody shut them or whatever, but most of the time. That's not doing the little doo doo doo. It's the best sound. Hello. All right, I hope this one will do the sound. It's a little bumpy. Disney's Riviera Resort. We are now sailing over Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. So we have made it to the Riviera. Just about to walk in. I'm going to show her the mosaics. So fun going on the Skyliner. One of the best rides at Disney World. So if you saw my bucket list video, I talked about how I wanted to do DVC. My hair is looking very crazy, I'm sorry. I would love to do it here. I love this resort, it's so pretty. I just got an Aperol spritz to kick off my Disney vacation, so cheers. Then we're going to head over to Disney Springs just to walk around and then we have dinner at Summer House. It's very pleasant sitting here. It's very breezy and through. So we are enjoying just taking it easy and being in the Disney bubble. So we just finished lunch at Bar Riva and by lunch I just got a burrata salad which was excellent. I wasn't super hungry so I just wanted to get something kind of quick because we have our reservation at Summer House at I think it's 545 so it is 239 right now. Oh my gosh I love this resort. I'm just obsessed with it. It's so so nice. So we are walking down to the bus just kind of do a little bit of shopping and just enjoy our day. So we decided to make a little pit stop at the Ghirardelli, which I've never actually been to before. This is considered the mini size. Hot fudge sundae in a chocolate dipped waffle cone. 
Oh wow, it's really good. And I have it on my nose. I have this shirt and I brought it with me. I bought it Christmas and it was too cold to wear. So now that it's super hot, I'm gonna wear that on this trip. Oh, look at all the little things. <laughs> I do like this sweatshirt. I think this is so cute. So we got these potato salad deviled eggs. I got the shrimp cocktail. Thank you. And she got the Cobb salad. That looks really pretty. We just left Summer House on the lake and before we left, we stopped at their little bakery and got three of their cookies to try, which I hear kind of are rivals to the Gideon's cookies. We got a sea salt chocolate chip and a lemon. Those two she said are the most popular. And then we also got a chocolate cloud. So we'll try that as well. Spoiler alert, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Gideon's cookies. I realized that I'm gonna get probably like eight comments for saying that. Anyway, going in with an open mind. So we are in room 8565, so I thought I would do just a quick room tour with you guys. So we are in the Little Mermaid area of Art of Animation. We got here before our room was ready and they brought our bags for us, which was really super nice because we thought we had to go all the way back to Bell Services, which we did. And then they told us that everything was actually in our room. So we have two beds. This room, it looks like has the A Disney, which is like the Amazon um, Alexa thing. So we'll have to try that out. But we have a little side table. Ooh. I can't help you. <laughs> you find out what I can help with? Ask me what can you do? Never mind. Okay, well now we know. Now it works. Everything is like very cute theming under the sea. The chairs are little seashells. This is the OCD in me. I thought that this picture needed to be straightened and it's actually meant to be like that. It's totally fine. One thing I'm not seeing in this room. Oh no, it is. Okay, I was gonna say there's not that many plugs. So there definitely are some plugs here. And these are key, these USB ones, especially for the Magic Band Pluses, which is what we have. Some drawer space here. It looks like this is all drawer space in pretty good sizes. And here is the fridge. And actually, oh no, this is a beverage cooler. Okay, so it's not a real fridge. Just keep that in mind. It's a beverage cooler. So it cools to 41 degrees. So you don't wanna put, you know, stuff that will go bad in there here i am hi guys just one sink it has the area too that's open which is standard for most of these usually at pop century they have a little uh like tall cabinet thing and the vanity has more kind of cabinetry so we are in the toilet area oh my gosh little mermaid wow look at this shower guys looks like they still have these aren't the H2O products, they just came in and put the stickers on. This was what happened when we were here in December. They were coming through and just putting new stickers on. This has a tub. If you have kids, this is a perfect room. Before I close out the vlog, I did want to do a little taste test. We're starting with the chocolate cloud and my mom smushed it, so it's fine, no worries. It's very crumbly. It's kind of like, it's like a very traditional cookie. It's very good. I like this a lot. I'm not a big chocolate mm. fan, but that is delicious. Already, I'm sorry to anyone that's a Gideon's fan. Already 10 out of 10. So this is the lemon one. It looks like there's kind of a icing on the top of it. This one's not as soft. No, oh, it's still pretty soft actually. Let's see. Wow, this is really good. So it's a lemon, a lemon cookie that has an icing on it, like a very thin layer of icing. It's nothing crazy. It's sort of like a lemon square, but not like wet like that. You know how like the lemon squares are kind of jelly? 
I guess that's what I mean, jelly onion stem. Definitely not like that. I don't know how much of that you could eat though. So this one is the other cookie that she said is the most, second most popular. This one is chocolate chip sea salt. I mean, it just kind of tastes like a salty cookie. It tastes like a chocolate chip cookie that just has salt in it. I have to say Summer House is better. Summer House is like more of a traditional cookie versus Gideon's where I feel like they go too far with like the novelty of the cookie. Comment down below if you have tried the Summer House cookies, if you disagree and think Gideon's is better, please comment down below, let me know, and we can have a little debate about it. But anyway, that's my review of the bakery at Summer House and yeah, 10 out of 10. Tomorrow we are going to Animal Kingdom in the morning and then we're going to Hollywood Studios. We have reservations at Oga's Cantina and at Brown Derby for dinner, and then we're gonna go to Fantasmic. So we have a full day tomorrow, which we're really, really excited about. So I will just close out the vlog here, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed yet, because we have so many fun Disney vlogs coming. Look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.